Hello there, fellow humans, and today I want to talk about the T34 because it is in the shop again for 5.5k gold, and most of these offers tend to be relatively good. Some of the ones that sold for 5.5k gold, and then that include the tank, premium time, and the credits, because obviously if you get this, um, they have 30 days of premium time to also use that tank as well, and also 500,000 credits as sort of a like, small head start. Now, these times 25 boosts are unfortunately only usable for the T34. However, obviously you get times 5 XP, so you also do get a bit of extra free XP there if you play the tank like that. And then you also get a useless add-ons like the camos, and it is also fully equipped. So 5,500 for this one. The 22,000 is complete BS, but the 5,500 does seem like a decent price here. So, do you want the tank or not? Let's find that out for you. Now, one thing you want to do with the premium tank is ideally you want to make credits, and that is what this thing is very good at. You have 248 millimeters of penetration on your AP rounds, which means you have more than all the others here, which also means you have to fire APCR relatively few times, and you also, if you need it, you have very, very high APCR penetration as well, whereas others have around 260, 270. This one has 300. You also have 400 alpha damage, which is very nice. Um, and definitely good enough to do some damage. Obviously, that's five shots, and you got 2,000, so not too bad. And um, the aim time, though, is where this thing lags behind a bit. Aim time, and actually, is not amazing. Um, especially the aim time is relatively bad. It's on par with a, something like an object 2 to you. But then again, this is a hold down heavy tank where uh, you want to play it in a situation where you don't have to go at a long distance. You have 10 degrees of gun depression, which is great. However, a lot of these do have. 10 degrees as well. Now, without a doubt, the T-32 is a better tank than the T-34. That is no question here. But if you buy this tank for roughly 4,000 gold in terms of the bundle value, then that doesn't seem like too bad of a deal here. Now, you do have only 35 kilometers an hour top speed and an effective power ratio of only 9, which means this is by far the slowest tank in this comparison. So that is the biggest thing that weighs this tank down, and that does show its age that it is from the beginning of the game, and that is where I do think this tank should be improved quite a bit to make it a bit more relevant. However, with the 248mm penetration and the 400 alpha damage, and the absolutely impenetrable turret, pretty much, uh, from the front at least, this thing can still be a very strong premium tank if you're on a budget. So now let's get into a battle with the T-34, and obviously what you want to do is you want to go to the good side of the map, and that is most of the time the medium or field side, because the city is just a flat ground of 90 degree angles, where a tank like this is going to be absolutely useless. So, don't do that. And most tanks as well, because you want to have the map control, the more of the map you control, the more of the game you control, the more you win. So, it's that simple, and obviously, firing on the move like that is never going to hit, uh, most of the time at least. You can get a lucky hit or two sometimes from that, but uh, you shouldn't expect it. See if we can go for that. Beautiful. Now, the actually is not great, but it is definitely good enough to hit some long distance shots. Ideally, though, you want to stay at a closer range. So, let's do that. Let's uh, cuddle with these guys here. Now, it's not great because, again, this is flat. Come on, let me through. Um, and now we can uh, take a shot at the Yaktiga here and don't want to stick around for too long. Because obviously then we're going to get pen Now, 280 from back there. What is that? That is going to be someone camping, probably. So that is not great. And uh, here we go, another one. And uh, that is some bouncing uh, whatever premium round the Actica has. Okay. Ice Five's coming up. I want to have a uh, snack of him. He doesn't have gun depression. I mean, the, the Ice Five is like the ultimate budget premium, basically. Where it's bad. But it's also 1,500 gold, so you might as well. Like, if you're on super, super tight budget, then the IS-5 is probably the option you have. Other than that, get something better, because the IS-5 is very, very, very disappointing. So, at that point, you want to have something like this. Other tanks are sold in this 5.5k bundle as well, like the Yak-T-88, but then again, that is only for tank destroyer people. And I ain't no tank destroyer people. So... This, I think, is a very good option to make crits easily and cheaply as well, because you have high alpha damage, you have high penetration, so it is relatively easily to rack up damage and get shots and penetrations without having to fire premium rounds all the time, so that even though if you're not a great player, 
you're still gonna have plenty of opportunities to do um, damage and then that gives you credits as well. Okay, now I'm gonna get rid of him because that, that thing has no armor basically. Um, it also doesn't have any gun depression or mobility. But then again, this the, the mobility is pretty much the biggest downside of this tank as well. It is very slow. It's not great. I think if they should buff one thing about this tank, it should definitely be that because it does show that it's not a modern premium tank um, based on how it's balanced. But the gun, it's still relevant, so it still does make up for that quite a lot. Now, I would take something like this over a whatever... Uh, 122 TM or whatever new tanks there are any day of the week because Let's face it a lot of the modern crate tanks. They're, they're pretty bad for what they're sold for um, you know, like you can get a Whatever tank for 15,000 gold at tier 8 and then you get this one for for about 4,000 and Yeah, that then you have an amazing value here. And this is it's still a good tank. It's by no means amazing but you Still get a good value out of it and especially if you're on a budget, this is one of the best premium tanks to make credits with that you can have. Second one with the T-34, and obviously what you don't want to do is go to the bad side of the map, so we're not going to. And uh, obviously what you also want to do is you want to go hull down, so find yourself a position where you can hide the hull and only shoot and phase with the turret, because otherwise you're going to get pinned very, very easily. The hull is massive, the tank is slow, so there. Uh, you can be shot and destroyed quite easily. So, I do think if this tank should be buffed any time in the future, I would do something to its absolutely abysmal mobility. Um, especially in, in terms of its acceleration. So, there is that. Now, the gun's already great, pretty much. Um, it's not a, well, amazing gun, but it is definitely 248mm penetration is quite a lot. And is more than enough to do damage to most tier 8s and also most tier 9s. And with the almost 300 millimeters of uh, APCR penetration, that is more than enough for all of it. So, you're going to make a lot of credits that way because you don't have to fire APCR too many times. Which is a great thing. So, you also have HE. Very good HE rounds on this thing. Because obviously it's a very high caliber gun. So, make use of HE when you can against light tanks, the rears of mediums and all that kind of stuff. So, do make use of your HE rounds properly. Because that way, you're going to do 500 damage instead of 400, which is great. So, obviously, hunting a light tank is not a good idea, especially in a tank that is this slow. Um, and also, facing an ML2 is also not a great idea. So, what we're going to do, going to turn around and uh, get this suicidal Lerve, or at least get it one shot or two into him. Um, he doesn't want to live anymore. And uh, that is relatable. Not. But, uh, yeah, here we go. 1,000 damage already. It's not great. But not bad either. Obviously, it's also relatively easy to play because all you got to do is point and shoot. Because most of the time, you are going to penetrate um, unless you just snapshot like that. It's not great at that. Um, so you might want to not do what I just did and snapshot. Try to aim your shots. That way, they're going to hit um, a lot more likely. Because obviously, the accuracy is not great. It's, again, it is a tank from like 2015 after all. And the balance back then was very much different. And now we end up with a Yo and an Emil. Which one are we going to go for? Obviously the Yo is closer, so we're going to go for the Yo. Um, don't want to run around and uh, waste uh, gas, especially in today's pricing. So, And with a tank like this one, consuming a lot of it, you don't want to waste it. So the Emil is probably going to die. So be, I'm still full HP, so I haven't really had to fight anyone yet. So all we're going to do now is just... Oh, go, go, one, 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 two, one, twelve. You, you go, you got this. Ah, uh, he pounced. That tank is horrible, by the way. Don't buy it. The, the glacials one of it's like the IS five. It's just, it's just bad. It's just really bad. Just ignore it. It doesn't exist. And he's dead. There we go. And let's, let's, let's take this as a relatively average game here, around two thousand damage. And uh, so I can also show you how much credits you're gonna make with a relatively average game, or even above average game. Um, because the average of, th of this tank is going to be somewhere around 1,400, I'd say. Um, so this is a nice way to illustrate what you can do. I mean, if you are a decent player and you still want to make some credits. So, dead. Now, that's the game. Let's have a look. It was relatively easily, obviously, because, I mean, the enemy, as you can see, they didn't take any control. We just, well, I had to just push them. And when you get pushed back, well, you're more busy retreating than shooting. And at that point, you're going to lose. So... We're going to have a look at here. 
is the credits. Now, I do have the premium account, but you do get 30 days of premium with a bundle. So, um, at that point, uh, you do end up with quite a lot of premium time. Uh, where is the credits? Down here. You could have made 33,000 credits with this one. Um, and that is relatively decent. And 58,000 with the premium time, which is not too bad for a only 2,300 damage game. So, that's the T34. It's good if you're on a budget. Otherwise, maybe try to get something better, like an AMX M449 but a, or a T482. But this bundle, I think, is pretty good value for what it's sold for.